Hello, everybody, and welcome to the TeacherCast Educational Network. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and welcome back to our series on Microsoft Teams. We've been enjoying having two great MIE, Microsoft Innovative Educator Trainers, on. I want to bring back to the show Jenny Long and Salee Clark. Jenny, Salee, welcome back to the show. Hey! Thanks for having us. It is so great to have you. We are in our third video on our journey through Microsoft Teams. If you haven't had a chance to check out our full video series, we are going to put the links to the playlist on the bottom. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our video today. It would be great to have you guys here. And of course, every time you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to click on that bell. We want to keep you guys aware of all the great videos happening over here on the TeacherCast Educational Network. If you're here because you're looking for some great Microsoft videos, don't forget to check out everything over at teachercast.net slash Microsoft EDU. We have a, an amazing array of podcasts, blog posts, video tutorials, and of course, this online course over there. Jenny and Salee, talk to us a little bit about what we're going to be talking about on today's lesson. Today, we're going to be looking at how to start from the very beginning with teams, how to find your team, how to create a team, and how to join a team. Now, that is such an important thing to do, because for many people, once we have our first interactions with teams, some, you know, mostly it's as a guest or as you know, joining in our school district. How is it possible for us to actually go through and create a team for our school district? To create a team, you want to click on the Teams icon on the left-hand side of Teams. And then at the bottom of the Teams list, click Join or Create a Team. On the Create a Team tile, click Create Team. Choose which type of team best fits your group's purpose. Once you've created the team, you can invite people to join. You can add individual users, groups, or even entire contact groups. A team can also be created for you with your district student information system. This means that your classes are automatically populated for you according to your registration within your SIS. Talk to your district technology department for more information. To add a team member, find the team that you created. Click the ellipsis and then manage team. Go to the members tab. Click the add member button. Begin typing the name of the person you would like to add, and it will automatically populate names within your organization. Then click Add. You can designate invitees as owners or members by clicking the down arrow beside their name. Click Close. To create a channel in a team, simply select the ellipsis by the team that you created. Then click Add Channel. You can also click Manage Team and add a channel in the Channels tab. Give the channel a descriptive name to make it easier for users to understand the purpose of this channel. As a team owner, you can automatically favorite channels for the whole team, making the channels more visible for everyone on the team. Students and staff can join a team with a code. To access the code, click the ellipsis, then click Manage Team, Settings, team code, and then click Generate. Give this code to your students or teachers to join your created team. Remember, the code only works for people in your organization. For your students or teachers to join the team with the code, simply click Teams on the left-hand side of the app, then click Join or Create a Team at the bottom of your Teams list. Go to Join a Team with the Code, which is the second tile, paste the code in the Enter Code box, and click Join. Guest access allows teams in your organization to collaborate with people outside your organization by granting them access to existing teams and channels on one or more of your tenants. Anyone with a business or consumer email account, such as Outlook, Gmail, or others, can participate as guests in Teams with full access to team chats, meetings, and files. Some important things to know is that only the owner can add a guest to a team, and guests will have access to anything shared within the team they are a member of through SharePoint. To add a guest, click the ellipsis, then click Add Member. Enter their outside email, 
then add as a guest. Remember, this feature must be enabled by your district. You know, it's great to see how easy it is to get started with Microsoft Teams. I am so looking forward to our next video. Talk to us a little bit about where we're going in video number four. The next few episodes, we are going to cover why a teacher would even use Teams. We're going to be looking at time-saving tips, accessibility, and organization. You're not going to want to miss these videos. And we hope you've enjoyed this video. Of course, if you're looking for more information on this series, you can always go over to teachercast.net slash Microsoft EDU for much more information. And of course, to subscribe to all of our podcasts, you can visit teachercast.net. I want to say thank you again to Jenny and Salee for helping us today and being a part of this series. Don't forget that on April 15th, the applications are available for you to nominate yourself to be a Microsoft Innovative Educator. Jenny and Salee, it's almost here. I am so excited. Salee, what are... <laughs> What are some of the things that you remember about your time being a Microsoft Innovative Educator? Oh my goodness, I love it. I just love connecting with people from all over the world and hearing how teachers are doing teaching and living life in the classroom every day. And of course, just around the corner is ISTE. If you haven't gotten a chance to check out all the great stuff over at ISTE, check it out. We are looking forward to being a part of the Microsoft education experience and learning about the great new things that are going to be happening for us and you in our school districts. On behalf of everybody here in the TeacherCast Educational Network, I want to say thank you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. And on behalf of everybody here in the TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.